So when it comes to the Elder Scrolls and Fallout games, I'm not sure about the other games that are under the Bethesda umbrella. Those two series, there's usually a dev room you can access in pretty much all the games via console commands on PC that will contain every single item in the game. Every weapon, every piece of armor, every just actual item that is in the game. And since Fallout 76 is obviously an online multiplayer game, it lacks console commands, therefore it shouldn't even really be possible to access the dev room, theoretically of course, but it turns out people have gained access to this. And not only does this obviously contain every single weapon and armor and item in the game, it also contains the future items that have yet been unreleased, and the one lone surviving NPC in Fallout 76. So right here you're looking at Wabi, I think is how you pronounce that. The one surviving, one person left in all of Appalachia apparently, besides us vault dwellers. He is, of course, killable, which is part of why this like story's making trends, is we have an NPC in Fallout 76 finally, even though it's in the dev room, and you can kill them and loot them. I'm not entirely sure what he has. It looks kind of like Children of the Atom clothing, maybe. And right here we have a couple of the unreleased paints that are coming in the future at some point, I guess. The first one is the Atom Cats, probably recognize this from Fallout 4. Then there's the military paint for the power armor, and then the last one is the winterized paint. Obviously, those pictures were of bad quality. There are tiny pictures off of one of the articles that are talking about this, so I, it's the best I can do, really. There are videos out there of people touring, like the dev room, walking around the dev room, obviously. You can watch those. I'll probably have something linked in the description. It's really not that exciting anyway. I mean, if you know what a dev room is, you know what's going on. It's just all the items in the game. But the topic of discussion and why we are here today talking about this is people are being banned for accessing the dev room, but for good reason. And I gotta say, I side with the developers. I side with Bethesda on this because people are accessing it and getting, you know, all these badass weapons, all these badass armors and clothing and items, or whatever that you normally wouldn't have access to. You have to like grind and find around the world. You can just get for free by accessing the room. Not only that, and we haven't even talked about this on my channel yet, there's this like weird secondary market for Fallout 76. People are making actual money off of this game. Like, they get whatever the rare items are, use duplication glitches, things like that. And they're selling shit on, like, I guess, like eBay or something? I'm not entirely sure, dude. I don't know what's going on. But people are making actual money off of this game. And you can do that, of course, with the developer room. If somebody needs like a rare, badass item, you can just go into the developer room and grab it and then sell it to them. And just from a balancing standpoint, from this being a multiplayer game, having PvP and stuff, this is obviously an issue in that way. You can just have the strongest weapons, the strongest armors, etc. So, again, I say I side with the developers on this one. This is something that needs to be stopped. People are making actual money off this game by cheating and stuff like that, and obviously getting unfair advantages over other players. You've got to stop this, clearly. On top of all that, as of right now, you can probably only access this developer room through modding, which is still something that's kind of ban-worthy in Fallout 76. They haven't actually introduced mods to the game for us all yet. And the people doing this are obviously aware of the banning, so what they're doing is they're making extra accounts, fake accounts, grabbing the items from the developer room, and then trading them off to one of their other characters or a friend or whatever the case. Because if you receive an item that came from the developer room, you don't get banned. It's not your fault, you're not liable, obviously. And if they end up banning that account, who cares? It's just an extra account you made. Now, if you do end up getting banned for this, this is the email they're sending out. It says, Greetings, we would like to reach out to you concerning this Fallout 76 account. Our records indicate that a character or characters on this account appear to be in a corrupted and or unusual state at this time. The form of character corruption is typically seen after a character has visited an area within the game which isn't typically accessible via normal gameplay. In an effort to ensure the integrity of these characters and this account as a whole, we have temporarily suspended this Fallout 76 account. Oftentimes, this form of corruption is directly introduced while performing the unique steps necessary to gain access to one of the locations described above. To properly address and correct this issue, your assistance is vital. If any of the characters on this account have possibly visited one of these locations, please describe the way it was accessed in a reply to this email. That detail should provide the information necessary for us to correct any corruption issues on this side and safely release this account and return these characters back into the world. Should we not hear back from you, this Fallout 76 account will simply remain suspended and unavailable until we hear back from you, at which time we will conduct an investigation to reach a final decision about the status of this account. Regards, Bethesda Customer Support. Whew, that's a lengthy read. So yeah, if you get banned for accessing the developer room, Bethesda wants you to tell them how you were able to gain access to the developer room. And then with the information, I guess they're going to try to find ways to prevent people from doing that again, and I guess maybe give your account back. Seems like if you're willing to cooperate, they will give you your account back. And while I do agree with the bans happening, I also don't blame the people who are making money off of the game. Like, if people are dumb enough to give you money for digital items, if you can walk up to another character in a game and give them an item, trade them an item in-game for actual real-world money, yeah, do that, of course. Also, we gotta talk about Wobby really quick, of course, a human NPC that's in the developer room for them to practice and shoot and kill and everything like that, but they couldn't put human NPCs in the game. Ridiculous. 
Anyways, my dudes, that's the video. I thought it was an interesting topic to discuss. Again, I'm kind of on both sides with this. I don't blame people who want to make money off this game if people are willing to give them money, but I also don't blame Bethesda for banning people. As always, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you guys enjoyed the video, leave it a thumbs up. What are you doing? Come on, guys. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Turn on notifications. Follow me on Twitter at the Dash and David at my Discord. Links to my social networks are in the description and in the outro. Later.